Make this quick.
now and this is over. I can't believe I it. More than you, now. you saved me. What's mine is yours, friend. All in the day's work. You crazy!
731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. If it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest to goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. Are they up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm is most unbecoming, Eli. It's going to hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. It would be my pleasure. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight lip son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Well, ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty purse the last time, if I remember correctly. Then we're down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. Come on. I'll be honest with you, Marson. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash came in a wild land. We're nearly there. Keep your eyes out for the ballers. Everybody dismount. Follow me. Let's go. Stay alert, boys. Be ready, boys. We're probably going to be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. Good God. Let's move up, boys. That was a pretty good shooting, John. 
Yep. Maybe you ain't ten foot I thought you was. Coming from you, friend, that's a real compliment. Partner, I ain't getting fresh. Baller twins have got themselves an army. Yeah, rustling's a profitable business, and they ain't short on willing recruits these days. Why the man break his back working 12 hours a day? But the ranger can't pay him because those sons of bitches are robbing his cattle. Yep, it's one of them vicious circle things the marshal keeps jawing about. Beat those sons of bitches! We got to get to that ridge. I'm gonna beat the lot of you. Marshal of yours sure doesn't seem to mind getting his hands dirty. Oh, he ain't afraid to pull the trigger off. And he's been after these rustlers for a long time. Thank <laughs> you. 
sorry, partner. How can you watch yourself, baby? Follow me! Someone might as well have this. Looks like the bollards won't be rustling again anytime soon. Quick, let's get those hostages free. <sighs> Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. 